Yeah! <laughs> I got his tail rotor. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this cast 1v1 game. We've got a really interesting matchup with you today on Two Lakes. We've got Gnef on 11 Easy. Gnef literally only plays 11 Easy. Um, so this is the fully optimized 11 Easy build. He's very good at the game because 11 Easy is OP. Uh, and he's up against Skate who literally, right now, only plays 119Y. He's got like 250 rank games on 119Y. It's all he plays, he just plays 119Y. Um, and um, he's doing that because he used to play 11th US, and everybody said, why are you spamming an OP div? So he swapped to 119Y, which is only stealth OP. So uh, people don't know it's OP, so we can spam it in peace, basically. It's not OP. Uh... <laughs> It's decent. It's like a mid middle of the road for 1v1. I wouldn't say it's weak. I wouldn't say it's OP. Um, so, two lakes. Gnef got the bad side. Why is it the bad side? Because Red can actually roll into Oscar. Um, and Zulu to Lima is actually quite close. Like, Lima can be attacked from Zulu, whereas Alpha cannot really be attacked from Zulu here. Um, and you see X-rays all the way over here. So even though blue gets Oscar not for free because red can actually get in here at the same time, if they ever want to attack the back zone, it's all the way over there, right? Whereas whereas if you're the red player, you can get to Lima quite easily. Anyway, looking at the deployment, so we've got uh, Sapper Paris over here, so Satchel Charges, um, one vet, and then a Milan one here, a Milan two here, looking down the road, shooting the guys coming down the road. The LRA-20, AA truck. And then two Paras SAS. So these are special forces satchels. So I've noticed that he's not actually brought any any infantry AT. Not a single one. So if Skate just puts a vehicle in here, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he notices that that is the case. Uh, and then, yeah, we got a Milan 1 over here. Looking down that road. BBL recon. Just reconning for it. And then in Oscar, we've got two Sappers Paras, Paras Marine, two Sniper SAS. It's interesting that he put them here and not one in the church. Because basically in this game, religious people can see further than atheists. So this is the church, right? And uh, that can see pretty far. Whereas an the atheist next door can't, can't see so far, right? Um, you see that? You see that? You see that? And uh, yeah, Paris SAS, so at least he brought an AT this side, he didn't bring any on this side, which is really weird actually. <laughs> uh, and then a CV for Papa Oscar, and yeah, he's bringing his Paris Marine at 3 vet. I'm uh, really surprised, like why? Well, whatever. Switching to Skate's deployment. You've got Spetsnaz OP for X-Ray, just defending there. And then uh, NSV, 50 cal uh, equivalent there. Igler in the grain silo, so basically uh, farmers can see further than regular people, so um, farmers can see further than atheists, so this is like an atheistic dwelling, can't see very far, but a farmer in his grain silo can actually see pretty far, um, so that's interesting law. Conkers just for here, conkers for over here, and then yeah, so he's going to run into his own town, with because he's expecting a forward deployed attack with a supply, a 50 cal here to stop things coming around the side. Okay. Two Spetsnaz OP, one here, one there. Three Iglers at the back. Two Pomachiki, two Spetsnaz. Motorized Razvedka for this building. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, and uh, Spetsnaz grew for this building, which makes a lot more sense. And uh, yeah, CV. Would, would have loved to have seen him try and get the recon over here, but. I, I don't know. Uh, he plays more games than me. Maybe there's some reason for it. So we'll cast the game and we'll do it from this perspective. <laughs> right, so they're off and it's time for me to thank the generous channel joiners. They get the names on the screen. They get the videos early. They get exclusive members only videos. And they make it so I don't have to chase views by, um, you know, casting games from uh, like high ranked players that everybody's heard of. Uh, instead, I can cast games from players nobody's heard of like Gnef and Skate. Nobody's ever heard of them. Uh, so thank you for supporting the channel. One join at the lowest level is worth uh, 2,000 views. So the Paramalan 2 sadly did not get the shot off before they unloaded, which is to be expected really. 
Um, but it's going to start getting some kills there. So there you go. That's uh, 20 points that red isn't going to see. And Gnef, yeah, so he's unloading. Um, and he's got lots of uh, lots of things. Um, will they, this might actually get that? No, it does not. And it's reloading. So, yeah. OP Spetsnaz did not manage to kill the VLRA 50s. Good micro here from uh, from both players. You see him moving around a lot. Skate trying to keep his Spetsnaz alive. Uh, but the Paris SAS are higher cohesion than him. So, you know, they, they haven't taken so many hits. And this Paris Milan 2 is kind of annoying, but it'll run out of ammo soon. Uh, <laughs> it's just not as good as having a gun there because a the gun will shoot faster, right? So. Paris SAS pulling back a bit there. Where's the second one? There it is. So, Blue are in this zone, but he didn't buy a CV. So, he's just got one CV, and maybe he'll path it over here now. So, he's not... I mean, the lead he's got, he's not actually getting, if that makes sense. But, Skate hasn't secured this plus two back here. He's only got one CV. Um, Skate not yet noticing that there's literally no AT in this town. Even if he did, there's nothing he can do. Oh, he's bought a burrito. Okay. So this is 375 points, so that's more than a minute's income, and I think that was actually a huge mistake to buy it, because right now his front line is collapsing, and instead of buying the infantry he needs to replace it, or the tanks he needs, like get a tank here, your enemy can't drive in anymore, right? Get a tank here, sort of same thing, although there's a Milan 1 there, so get a tank here, yeah, enemy can't drive in anymore, but instead he spent the points on a burrito, which is more expensive. It might deal with this in the short term, but... Um, you've got a you got a legionnaire Paris coming. Um, it's gonna be a good kill though. <laughs> he's, he's, he's actually gonna get all of them, but he's not gonna get the legionnaire Paris, so he's still gonna have a blue infestation. Whereas if he'd bought a tank here, I think it wouldn't have been so bad. Um, and uh, you know, Gnef. Oh no, he's driving in the. Oh no. Oh, he's he's literally driven his guy. Oh, they're all dead. One. Uh, two, three, four, somebody's not coming. So, yeah, that was a pretty devastating uh, volley there. Um, he got a lot of guys, but he hasn't solved the fundamental problem here, which is that um, he's got rats in his zone. And they can, he can just reinforce and buy more rats. So the 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 you must cut the reinforcements, right? That's more important than the burrito. So he's he is making some play to that end, right? He's got the conkers here. He might be willing to move that up. Okay, so next eight rounds here probably won't kill more than one unit. It just depends where it hurts. So you know he's, he gets uh, gets a lot of people very low a lot of people very low so he is uh solving problems but this thing sadly has a 10 million year reload time so we're not going to be seeing that for quite some time now um and blue is in the zone and he's finally bought cv so <laughs> vbl recon around the back it's got a 50 cal so he's probably going to try and shoot the burrito but it's re reasonably well armored it is just a t72 and i think uh, the mi24b is going to solve that problem and Gnef has managed to get um, 80 GMs on this road. So, oh no, well there goes that Para Milan 2. Uh, eventually. So, this VBO Milan is going to frustrate that. Uh, oh, okay, so we, oh, oh, interesting. Is it going to get it? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> so he just lost vision there. Uh, because So that's why he had that going round. He was trying to spot it for the LGB, so that's really funny, actually. It's a really interesting idea. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, I mean, Blue's still on a plus three, but it's looking a lot better for Red now, actually. I mean, he might be able to push him out, but... Jaguar Cluster coming in. I'm not sure what it's going for. It's going for infantry. Okay. I'm not sure why. Why not buy the HE one? Um, so he might get a Saperi up here there. He does not. And the three Igloos are really... They're not killing things, but they are damaging things. And the CV went down, actually. So this is actually looking pretty bad for Blue now. Because he just doesn't have anything. 
Um, although, I mean, it's it's six supply really the purchase hit. Uh, but yeah, he just keeps buying planes. I don't. He's just bought three minutes of planes. Imagine if he had three minutes of ground forces here; it'd be looking a lot better for him. And uh, every time he's just getting hit by the AA. So I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, all this time Skate didn't actually cap X-rays, so. <laughs> That's a shame, and yeah, so Gnef getting a bit silly now, like he's going to lose this as well, um, and then he lost that, mm. so looking a lot worse for Blue now, uh, and the Burrito survived, right, so all that was basically for nothing, um, right, what's he buying now, okay, Legionnaire Paris, he just should not have bought three minutes of playing, so that was really, really, really silly, he should just not have done that. Um, that was very, very silly. It was very silly. Um, yeah, so I think I think Gnaf has lost. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I want to see what he pulls out the hat here. Like, he could try and get this Milan 2 back here, but look, he's got... He's literally got four units. Uh, and he just keeps, like, suiciding his guys in over here. Um, it's like, this is going to die now. Down it goes. So he's desperately trying to reinforce as fast as he can. But, um, yeah, maybe the burrito was the buy. I mean, no, I, I think it's more a Gnef through moment than a burrito moment. I think basically um, Gnef should not have bought three minutes of planes and should have instead bought some more ground units and then this wouldn't be happening. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, instead he bought three minutes of planes. So this ammo was probably not going to make it. That MiG-29 is probably going to kill it. And like, he's reinforcing this, but why? The, the enemy is here. This is a more pressing concern. Uh, although Skate is not in any particular hurry, it seems. Uh, just, yeah. So the airmobiles is going to land, because the MiG-29 evacs, actually. It's interesting. So yeah, Skate is like, okay, I guess I'll just build up. Um, but he's missed his window of opportunity because there was literally nobody here there's literally nobody here but instead he um he wants to turtle and then attack later which could still work uh certainly the late game belongs to 119 he's got the burrito he's already made that investment um and uh, yeah it's just a shame that Gnaf bought all those planes uh instead of a bit more frontline there so i guess he's going to spend the next uh 40 minutes trying to defend but in this situation, my money's on the guy with the burrito. Uh, because he can hit all this. That all dies. Move up to there. Hit all this. That all dies. Move into here. And then you're on a plus two. And you're on the good side. So you don't actually have to go that far. Um, so. Okay, so now he's trying to sneak some guys over here. But that's not going to work either. Um, I do admire the tenacity. But yes, this is a very dead. He's, he's not really noticing. Like he could have saved that. He could, yeah, he could have. Yeah. So okay. Um. So this is all units that really should have been here. <laughs> um, this is looking a bit scary now. So uh, we're bringing up the burrito. It's burrito time. And. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So. Okay. Uh, will these these uh, that one probably won't? But will these survive that volley? Oh, it's on. It's not firing. Okay. So, <laughs> calm before the storm, really. I can appreciate Gnef trying to get in here, but quite intelligently, Skate has just put a couple units there, and now nobody's getting in. Defending is easier than attacking. And, um, yeah, like this 150 cow can just shut all that down, basically. You can just shoot everybody until they're suppressed, stop them from crossing that field. Trust me, we'll check back in later. Right, so, okay, so we've seen these now. So now the burrito is presumably going to aim at these. Um, but yeah, 50 cows not so good against the TAEU tank. Um, and yeah, okay, burrito tank. 
so so it does not get this one but it might get this one no okay um yeah interesting and yeah we're just we're just watching red walk in here i mean this is <laughs> the burrito volley has been split so he's gonna be uh, using the rest of it um just a shame blue bought um bought those three planes i mean a jaguar cluster for for what um and uh, and then the mirage for the helicopter and the lgbt uh, ostensibly for the burrito, but he didn't get it right. So he's actually loaded some of these guys back up, and he's going to be moving them around. It's the Jaguar Cluster from before. He's, he's going for the burrito. Uh, the burrito is protected by three Iglers, three Strellers, and an SU-20, two SU-27s, and the MiG-29. So that goes about as well as you might expect. Um, and now the burrito's firing again, and it's probably going to get that minstrel. Uh, probably not going to get much else. There's not anything else there, but... Hey, that's a free minstrel kill, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You see, that there's just the slow, inexorable advance. Of, basically, this is the way Warno is designed to be played. The, the game is designed this way. There's a reason all the top guys are uh, sort of doing this kind of thing. Um, you, uh, you just very, very slowly play for kills. And, uh, you know, no sudden moves. Um... Another top strategy is to just play airborne, just get there first, just defend all game. That's also very powerful. Um, but yeah, there's uh, you know Gnef, Like, what are his buys? So I forgot about these. I don't understand why he's going in on this. Um, he just really wants to kill the enemy tanks and stuff. But there's just there's so many planes here. That's just not going to work. So much AA here. Really needs to stop buying that. Just too many planes here from Gneff. Too many planes. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Skate has made it to the first line. And now he's going to slowly walk to the second line. And, um, <laughs> right, so the infantry opens up. And the tier EU is, you know, is really going to do a number on all that. Um, tier BVK behind. You got the three Strellas behind that. Uh, yeah, over here, obviously, everything has not worked out. I told you that NSV would just kill everything, and it did. Um, and so this would be where you use your Jaguar Cluster, now that this thing's right here, but he knows that he's killed two. Uh, this guy, apparently, not in range, just because of the LOS there. You see, he must have been there or something. Um... This VBL recon is keeping all those guys back for now, but all you got to do is rotate the T80 over here, T80 BVK, and uh, sort that out. And Gnef has just like stopped spending his point. Well, oh yeah, he's buying a plane a minute. I remember now, so, but it's been 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds since the last minute, so he's just not, he's just not buying anything. Uh, maybe he's gonna summon three planes at once and try and do a plane wave. Um. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, really really something. Um, there's just like nobody here. What, what's the plan? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was the plan. The plan was to surrender. Um, so GG. Whoa, three hundred and forty-five kills. I thought that was going a lot better for Gnef actually. But yeah, he just he skate. Um, it's apparently me, and Gnef ranked twenty-two. Uh, I believe Skate is currently ranked 1. So, yeah, just um, just buying all that, uh, all those planes was just kind of not good. Not good to buy all those planes. Um, there was, like, no no smoke. Like, if you've got a tank you can't deal with, you can smoke it and then run infantry into it and kill it. But look at that, man. He didn't, he didn't get any kills for, for, you know, quite some time. Not a whole lot of killing going on there um <laughs> so yeah gg do let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one